Well, turning to this week's Earth 8 report, HBO's newest hit drama series, The Last of Us, is turning heads, displaying a post-apocalyptic America after a fungal infection decimates the world population. It's led many to wonder whether it's all rooted in reality or not. So I talked with experts to find out. On the heels of a real pandemic, the video game turned hit TV show The Last of Us feels all too close for comfort. The show's main characters are forced to defend themselves from a spreading fungal infection where humans are turned into cannibals by a mutation yeah. of a fungus called cordyceps know, just, that eats the host from the inside that. out. They're connected. More than you know. The fungus also grows underground. Long fibers like wires, some of them stretching over a mile. But many are surprised to hear the fungus from the show is based in reality. The creators of the story say they were inspired by seeing cordyceps in nature, turning insects into zombie-like creatures in the wild. Scientists say they've even seen the fungus force the insect above the colony, where it will latch its mouth onto the bottom of a leaf and then spread the spores onto the colony. Experts, however, say the threat of this fungus switching from insects to humans is nearly non-existent. From a human viewpoint, I mean, this particular fungus does not infect us. And it's unlikely that even in the, probably the short time we've got left on Earth, actually, as a species, that that, that fungus is going to change in its evolutionary history such that it could really affect us. In fact, cordyceps are actually widely consumed by humans, mostly in supplements, including those sold at Ohm Mushrooms in Carlsbad. We spoke to the owner, Steve Farrar. I actually grow two species of cordyceps here in, uh, in, Carl in San Diego in Carlsbad, and they're very highly valued dietary supplements that uh, uh, help with uh, sports performance and recovery with uh, respiratory health, with energy levels, so it, it's a wonderful mushroom. Steve says while the plausibility of the show is far-fetched, it's That's understandable true. how it captivates viewers. Our, our, all our surfaces, our skin is covered by many species of fungi, our intestines are colonized by fungi, and they can affect our behavior through our gastrointestinal system. Um, uh, many of the things that fungi produce affect our behavior significantly. Alcohol, for one thing, you know, it's made for yeast, which is a fungi, and alcohol has dramatic effects on it. It's another one, psilocybin from magic mushrooms. So the idea that mushrooms can't have an effect on human behavior uh, is uh, is something, you know, that they've really, they kind of took it to the extreme. You haven't seen the world, so you don't know. <laughs> And it seems to have worked. The series premiere marked HBO's second largest series debut in over a decade, with 4.7 million viewers, and it's already been renewed for a second season. I think probably it's a reflection, really, of our what the, the relationship that we have in our culture to the rest of nature. It's this sort of lack of familiarity with with a good deal of it, and so with with that uh, lack of understanding, I suppose comes comes fear. Experts say climate change could be contributing to the changes we're seeing in fungi. They're hoping that the show sparks a new generation to explore the fascinating field that we're still only scratching the surface of. On, on another level, I mean, if you look at the real science of the fungi, it's far more interesting than anything that could be imagined by, um, I, I think, in my opinion, a, 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 an author of science fiction or, you know, a fantasy writer. Interesting. Yeah. Wow. And I think he really was right. When, I mean, watching and reading about the science behind mm. these insects turning into zombie like creatures was amazing. Yeah. I mean, mm. it, it, it was astounding to think of a fungus being mm. able to take over an insect's body and instruct it to go <laughs> climb to the underside of a plant, wow. chomp down what they call a death grip, Ooh. and then it explodes out of them, the spores, mm. and Yummy. then infect what? the colony. Yummy. They even have uh, soldier ants in the ant populations that it infects that are aware when someone is infected, when mm. another ant is infected, and they'll kill that ant and then kill themselves <laughs> to protect the case. colony. <laughs> so they don't spread it. So they don't spread it. Wow. It is it is amazing. That's so a the, whole nother the, movie it, right there. The evolutionary yeah. changes that have yeah. come are insane. Whoa. And then you look at this adaptation, and of course, as we mentioned, it, it's nearly impossible that it would ever spread. Right. But it, all the mycologists that I talked to had said that it was mm -hmm. uh, very fascinating and hopefully will wow. spark you know, more mycologists to, yes. to 
come forth More in the next generation. More curiosity about <laughs> fungus, that's for sure. Yes. For that is and fungi. Yeah. Fungi, fungi. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Very interesting yeah. stuff. Fun stuff. So, uh, a good show, too. I mean, I'd say more for the, I was the say, leisure watching. As looking for something to, to watch with the kids, yeah. I, mean, I would probably skip past <laughs> that one. You know, the exactly. zombies walking well, around. And I will Coming say that the precursor head. is that I did play the video game. Video game was fun to play, but this one dives much more into that yeah. character growth. Yeah. And so, yeah. it, it's an interesting People show. And that's still on. They're still doing that week to week release. So, every Sunday is a new episode. It's captivating people everywhere. That's right. Okay. Thank you, Evan. Of course. Taking that deep dive.